to Once Upon a Crime, stories from the underbelly of faraway land, where not every story has a happily ever after. Tonight, scandal, crime, gossip and the weather. I'm Amy. And I'm Emmy. Our first story. Who is afraid of the big bad wolf? The famous villain is huffing and puffing after being arrested today, accused by the three little pigs of deliberately breathing heavily on their houses until they fell down. A lawyer for Mr. Wolf claims hay fever is to blame and that his client is a victim of a negative media hype. Here's our reporter Hannah with more. I'm here in the faraway jail with the big bad wolf and his lawyer. Mr. Wolf, you've been charged with the destruction of houses. How do you feel about these accusations? Sad. Why do you feel sad? Sad because I didn't get to eat one of those little piggies. He had hay fever last week and he's really, really allergic. Okay. You've been caught impersonating both a grandmother and a sheep. Who is the big bad wolf really? The big bad wolf. Okay. What do you have to say to all of the good people of faraway land who think that you're nothing more than a dangerous criminal? I am nothing more than a dangerous criminal. I am a dangerous criminal, and I'll eat every single pig until they're gone. And as his lawyer, what are your thoughts about this? Um, I am vegetarian, and also I'm a citizen on faraway land. You know that, right? Right? Okay. Um. Well, thank you for those very truthful thoughts, Mr. Wolf. Back to the studio. Now for news of escaped kidnapped heroes Hansel and Gretel. Their story captured the hearts of the nation and caused a media frenzy last year. They have spoken out for the first time about their ordeal in their new book, Blackbirds at Our Breadcrumbs, The Hansel and Gretel Story. Our reporter Anna was at the book's release in the deep dark forest, the scene of their terrible tale. Hi, thanks Imogen, I'm Anna and here I am with Hansel and Gretel. Obviously you're very rich now having stolen all the jewels from the witch's castle. How do you, how do you, how are you going to spend all the money? Food. Shut up Hansel. We're going to put all the money towards buying our father an axe. And food. Okay, cool. Um, Hansel, you're in great shape after being fattened up for eating. How did you do it? As you can see, I've been bulking and hitting the gym ever since. The only exercise I've seen you do is walk into the fridge. Okay, um, what, is, what, what have you learnt from your experience? To never trust an old fat lady that lives in a gingerbread house. Isn't that just common sense? Okay, thank you Hansel and Gretel. Good luck for your ongoing recovery. Back to you in the studio. Finally, there's a wicked whisper in the woods that all is not well with the marriage of celebrity couple Beauty and the Beast. After failed plans to start a fashion line and poor sales of their album and duets, sources are saying that happily ever after might not last much longer. We now go to our reporter Thomas. Thanks Amy and hello everyone. I'm Thomas here in the beautiful mansion of the Beauty and the Beast. Hello and smooches to you both. Now yours was a classic love story where two opposites fell in love against the odds. How's it all going with you two? It is not going well. I'm filing a divorce. I'm gonna go get back with Gaston. He's just so dreamy. Just, no. You go back with Gaston and I can live with Mrs. Teapot again. So you're something of a beauty, beauty, and you're a total beast. Beast, what is the reality of living with someone completely different from you? The shower situation. I shower twice a day, whereas he showers twice in two and a month. And don't even get me started on the hair everywhere. It's not my fault you whine every 30 seconds. Your recent Joy album didn't sell well and your fashion label has gone bust. What is next for you two lovebirds? Of course fashion is bust, she only wears one colour. Well, um, the only reason the Duet album w went bust is because you have a voice of a dying duck on fire. Thanks for your time, Beauty and the Beast. 
I wish you all the best for the future back into the studio. Thanks, Thomas. Now it's time for a faraway land weather update with Timpy and Blake. Who will have the fairest weather of them all this week? Well, it will be a mix of the fair and far for the faraway kingdom this week. In the north, there will be gumdrops, lollipops and rainbows for everybody. The sun will shine and birds will sing from your shoulder until Tuesday. The deep dark forest will be deep and dark all week with the occasional sunny spells and some witchy spells. Moving down the land, the green fields will be turned snow white overnight on Wednesday. Wrap up warm if you're living in a house made of sticks, straw or gingerbread because it'll be fee fi fo freezing. Finally, trolls living under bridges in the west might want to find a beanstalk to climb up on Friday. Heavy rain will lead to flooding. Otherwise, it's a happy ending to the working week for most of us. Back to the news desk. Thanks, Tempe and Blake. Finally, tonight, long-haired tower dweller Rapunzel is suing the Sleeping Beauty hair salon. Her stylist fell asleep with the princess under the hairdryer. The, re the result was a haircut so terrible it threatens to ruin Rapunzel's career and reputation. Here's our reporter, Caitlin. Thank you. I'm out. Thank you. I'm outside here. Thank you. I'm here outside court where the first day of the lawsuit has just finished. And here comes Princess Rapunzel and her stylist now. So tell me, how did you react when you saw the state that your hair was in? Oh, I'd say it was a good day, but it was not a good day. She left my hair looking like an empty bird's nest. It already did look like a bird's nest. How do, what do you have to say to the owner of the, of the Sleeping Beauty Salon who ruined your hair, career and reputation? Mate, you call yourself a hair industry. My bad crocodile could probably do better. Well, at least I have hair. So, where to next? What are you going to do with your hair? Can it be fixed? Oh, mate, it's nothing some fairy bread can't fix. Fairy bread? Mate, are you a numpty? It has fairy in the name. Back to the studio. That's all for tonight, although we've just had word that the big bad wolf has escaped jail since our interview. He is hungry, angry and on the prowl. Keep your doors locked, stay safe from the whole team at Once Upon a Crime. Good, Good night! night.